Hey, how's it going? Today we're doing a little bit, well, a little bit of two different things. I want to do some taming and a little bit of building. So in the last video, we did a little bit of work around base here. We got stuff moved back in. We just got back to the center. One of the things we had some issues with towards the end of the video, making a lot of noise over here. Dub Junior, <laughs> I tell you what, it's kind of neat. I see his little head poking up over the platform here every now and then. But, <laughs> but anyways, I don't know, man. It's 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 kind of neat to see dinos around that big. So one of the things we were having issues with was the greenhouse. So in editing, I don't know why I didn't think about this. Whenever I was trying it, all we have to do is replace these with some of the glass tiles, and then that'll kind of work. We don't need to do a whole bunch of of renovating and stuff. I don't know, man. Sometimes things slip my mind while I'm doing it, but I want to go ahead and get that done today. So what we'll do is we'll take these four off, replace them with glass ceilings, and then what I'm going to do is use some of the triangles, and then we'll make this whole thing into a room right here. I still like having the greenhouse room separate from the rest of the base. It just, I don't know, it seems better to me than just having them sit out like this. So instead of trying to clip pieces to the floor here and make them weird angles to fit this, we're going to come out just from that pillar. We'll come out two tiles. It'll probably come out to about right here, which is still fine. Still plenty of room, I think, for us to be able to get by. And then we can have a proper door and be able to get in without having issues with tripping over this stuff. Kind of like we did in the last video. It was kind of hard. We had to crouch to get in and stuff. So that should sort it out. We'll still go all the way to the roof, and it should clip in. Well, actually, you can kind of see. That's where it's going to go to. It's probably right there. It'll come straight down. So right about here. So we still got plenty of room to get by this and then have our door and stuff. So that's probably the second thing we'll work on. The first thing I want to do... Is somebody brought up that the issue I was having with the berries, I had two feeding troughs here, right? I had one that had fish meat in it alone, just for the berries. I had it set up with S+, plus so only they could eat out of it. And then I had the other one for everything else. Basic kibble is something that only the berries will eat if you have regular different flavors of berries and meat in here. So that's kind of what we probably set up here is just a little kibble farm. So the thing that we can use instead of these eggs to make the basic kibble is some either some dillo eggs or dodo eggs now we have some of the paleo creatures that i want to tame right the, all the flavors and stuff and dillos are on that list there is a paleo version of the dillo so right out over the water here on that beach there all along it all the way around are little dillos so we'll probably head over there first try to grab two of them the levels don't matter it's it's just going to be used for kibble farm and to add to our paleo collection I mean, if we find high-level ones, we'll definitely tame it, but levels don't really matter. So we'll get a male and female, bring them over, probably set them up right here, maybe on the back side of these guys, let their uh, let their tail smack them around a little bit. But uh, we'll do that, let them start getting their eggs ready while we build this, and then we should be able to build just a little bit, or not build, but craft a little bit of basic kibble before we go. And that'll kind of get, I think, the base fully sorted out. The greenhouse is really the only thing we're missing, right? So it, it'll be nice to have it. Those are still going very slow. See, these were filling up very, very fast. And they slowed down a bunch. So I wonder if there's like a cap on how much each tree gives you. I don't know. Kind of weird, man. Kind of weird. Anyways, let's grab a little bit of stuff. I am not using kibble to tame the dillos. It's it's not going to happen. So we're going to take some prime meat. Two stacks is going to be more than we need, but it's always good to have more than not enough. We're going to need some darts. Let's just take the whole stack. And then let's grab our taming gear. I think we'll just need you. Let's put this here. So we don't need to take a net or anything. And then we'll use a shotgun for sure to clear stuff out. It is kind of a lot of a lot of little stuff over there. But nothing really too much to worry about. And I think we're kind of good, right? Everything else, we got Wingman Jr. on us over there. So we should be good. Let's go ahead and grab... We'll go over on the Pella. Just since it lands on water and we're cutting across the water. And I think I have everything either made or enough stuff to do our greenhouse. I just need to make these slow pieces. Let's put this into stamina. But I just need to make those four slope pieces and then everything else should be good. Maybe a couple pillars. I'm thinking about putting pillars on the ends just to try to give it some type of like framework and everything. So it'll be good, man. It'll be good. Let's get over here, get these dillos out of the way and then everything else we're going to do is back up base where it's nice and safe for the most part because it's still over here. Let me show you something that is right below base I accidentally found whenever I fell off and forgot I didn't have Wingman. It was, uh, yeah, that guy. It's, uh, it's one of the Acros. And it's not just a normal one, it's a Paleo one. So we haven't seen those yet, right? We've seen, we actually tamed quite a few of the Acros. 
back over on, I think it was on Lost Island? Was it? Fjordor? Somewhere like that? But that's one of the Paleo ones, a different skin pattern. So I didn't keep any of these guys. Oh, there's two of them! I didn't keep any of these guys whenever we we moved maps and everything. I got rid of them when I uninstalled our conditions, so we do have to get a whole bunch of new ones. I want to save some of this stuff. Oh, that's a 135. I want to save a lot of this taming the Arc Editions and whatnot for the event coming up. Super good colors coming in on the event for Halloween, so it's a, it's a good time to get a lot of that done. I tell you what, man, it's kind of nice having those guys close to base just just for taming. I mean, otherwise, it's it's terrifying. Uh, dude, I do not want to run into one of those <laughs> when I'm out trying to farm on the Anki or something. Just me on my little motorboat. Tell you what, man, <laughs> I think I've said it before. I like riding him as a motorboat. Then flying. He seems faster that way. So, I'm not too worried about the colors on the Paleo Dillos. I would like to... I see you down there. It's always terrifying to come up on. I would like to find some good color ones, but we're not going to spend all day on it. I'd rather just go ahead and, once we find the Paleo ones, get a couple of them tamed up. There's a bunch of them here. It's, it's pretty busy, though. Let's leave these guys alone. They got aggro from the trike. I don't want to get in with that. I totally forgot to bring a tame with me to kill stuff off. Which is fine. It's not a big deal. We got our shotgun. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. Can we? Oh, you can't use. I thought you could use weapons while you're on this guy. I was going to say that would be perfect to knock him out while we're on this. Oh, we're out of stamina. Okay, well, let's, hit, let's get on to the shore over here. Let him get some stamina. And I want to reload my long neck real quick. I'm hoping we don't have to go too far. Right over there is where I planned on doing it, but. I said, man, I do not want to mess with that trike. He was not happy. Nothing over here either. Dude, where's all the... Where's all the Dillos? There was a ton of them over here when we were taming up the Patchy and stuff, you know? Oh, there's some there. Please be Paleo ones and not regular. All right, so there's a male 50. Okay. And a male, oh, there's a male 145. I mean, might as well tame the highest level one that we can. Okay, well, let's go ahead and pick you up. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. I don't know if we'll be fine, but you'll be fine. It shouldn't still be but like one or two darts to knock him out. I mean, we got our good long neck. Yep, just one. Didn't aggro him, but we're going to go ahead and take him out just in case. Oh, dude, that guy has cool colors, though. What colors do you have? I mean, that's kind of unique, too. I don't... Uh, I kind of like yours better. Should we do your colors? I know that's a 145, but... Hey, well, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Calm down. Calm down. You are way too excited today. I guess I could have just knocked them out and then looked, right? So we got like a mint green and a... Ooh, light color blue. I don't really like that. This one. I think we'll do this one. Kind of cool colors. A little bit better. All right, so let's give you... A bunch of this. Don't worry. You can go ahead and eat the rest when you're done. Back up, man. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Back up. Don't aggro him. I know. I know. Terrifying. It's a cool looking parasaur. Ah, oh, dude, look at the blue and yellow on it, man. Wait. Okay. Well, that went extremely fast. <laughs> okay. I know you're a very low level, but let's go ahead and pick you up. Well, leave your buddy, man. He can just wake up and do his thing. I tell you what, I'll go ahead and take all this. He ate three pieces. That is an awesome looking parasaur. What level was it? I had the numbers turned off. 55. Okay. 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 We could actually tame that real quick and take it back to our other ones over. Oh, dude. That looks awesome, man. Tame it and take it back over to Fjordor for taming for color breeding. I think I want to. I don't have any of the berries and stuff. I'll have to grab some. Please don't go in the water. Please don't go in the water. Please. Out of the water. Just stay out of the water. Look, I didn't want to tame you today. It's your fault for being over here. Yep, there you go. Take a nap. I'll grab you some berries. We'll let him just starve out a little bit, and we'll tame him here soon. Let's try to find us another Dillo. So we got a male, right? We do, and it was a level 50. Kind of cool colors. I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> they're kind of weird. I'm not a fan of light colors on stuff. I like the darker colors. Let's grab some berries for our Parasaur. Might as well feed him. Let him do his thing. We'll go off and find our other Dillo real quick. Probably hop on the bird, go down the beach a little ways. If something happens to this guy, I'm not too worried about it. How many do we have of the purple? Seven. We're going to need a couple more than that. 
But if something happens to them, I'm not worried about it. We will just leave them there, and if it works out, it works out. I like the colors. If not, it's on the list of stuff to tame for the event. That is, if we find one with some good colors for the event. All right, that should be good. Where... Where do we leave him? Oh, here he is. Buddy, please do not be drowning. I think you are standing up, so he should be good, right? Yep, we're good. We're good. All right, cool. We'll leave those, those, and those, which is way too many. But it's fine. All right, let's go find us another Dillo. We need a female one. Let's go on the bird. I think that's actually the first Dillo I've ever tamed. I don't think I've ever tamed a Dillo in Ark. Kind of a kind of a creature that I never used, so it was just always avoided, you know. Yeah, they, they kind of make you <laughs> make you mad. You spawn in, you're trying to get a hatchet mate or something, and they come up and start spitting at you. You can't see. Then the raptor comes and it kills you. What is that? Oh, that's one of those fish. I totally forgot about them. The Heelys. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude. Cool colors on them. Orange and everything. Nice, nice. Oh, uh, you know what? That means those those weird fish are going to be in the water. The ones that swim in packs? Oh, dude, I am not looking forward to those. Oh, we need one more Dello. There's got to be another one up here. We just need a female one. Little Orva Raptor running for his life. There's a 140 female. There's a 100 female. They're both... Oh, uh, dude, I am not happy on the colors on either one of them. That one looks better of the two. So where we're at is, I went all the way down the beach that way. Didn't find anything but Pegos. Did not want to mess with those. So, double back down this way. That trike killed everything off that was right there. And those are actually the only two females that I've seen. Some more Pegos over there. We might end up just taming one of those. What did the 100? If anything, it looked the best out of the two of them. I don't know, they got really weird color patterns. And, and actual, I mean, not patterns, but like the colors themselves. Was that a seagull? You've got to be kidding me, but I'll tell you what, I got something for you. Tell you what, come, try to come down here again. You steal my whole stack of meats. Uh-huh, serves you right. Hate those things, man. At least, <laughs> at least with the Pegos, you got a chance to get your stuff back. That was a whole stack of meat. See, that's why you always bring two stacks of meat, man. I'll tell you what, we are not staying over here to tame anything. Anyways. Yep, I think we might just go back and grab that one because everything over here has gone to as far as Dillos go. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. I don't want to spend all day on this. We got some building to do. I'm kind of excited to get to the greenhouse. And then also, I don't know if we can. Uh, I want to stack up a second level in there, if we can, for the, the crop plots, you know? It's going to be a little bit sketchy here whenever we first land because of that one. Yep, they're over here messing with the turtle. But yeah, if we can go ahead and get that worked out where it... Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Where we can put in that second layer, it'll just give us more vegetables and make life a little bit easier. Okay, so that's good. Let's reload this. I don't know which one's which. We're going to knock both of you out. That's the 100. I think that one looks a little bit better. Yeah, see, I don't know. I'm not a fan of that really light green color. Kind of the same body pattern. All right, we'll give you some food. We'll give you 10 again. And that should team up fairly fast. I think our other one... Is that you guys making that noise? They breathe so loud for being so small. But I think our other one's still over there taming up too. Oh, we got, <laughs> we got so much we're taming. So there's our Parasaur. That guy, one more bite and he'll be done. And then our 145. Oh, I've got a 145 and a 140. Dude, we should tame them too. Just for... Ah, we'll do it. We'll do them both too. Just because we'll have a high level pair then. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Tell you what, man. If there are seagulls in Ark 2... Oh, dude, I'm uninstalling. That's all there is to it. Not gonna deal with them. Not really. But I mean... Please don't put those into Ark 2. Nice, nice, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and grab you. Or, there's the other one. Fantastic, I was gonna say, we're just waiting for your friend. So, let's head over. We'll grab our Parasaur, it should be almost ready, and we'll go ahead and throw some meat into that other high-level male Dillo that's over there, and that'll get him tamed up. Then we'll have, I don't know, we'll have two pairs for doing the eggs and stuff. I mean, 
It's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. And then we can always breed some colors in later. I wanted to avoid that, but I mean, it is what it is. And our Parasaur is going to take a many. It's only 64%, but it'd be good colors, man. Good colors. All right, buddy. I got some meat for you, man. Since you're here, you're lucky. We'll go ahead and tame you. It's going to be like instant tame. Yep, there we go. Nice, man. Nice. Two pairs of Dillos. Only came for one, but whatever works. And that guy's still at 64%. Takes so long with the berries, man. But I wanted to take a look real quick. While we got a second. Oh, there's some of the sea turtles. Okay, they are here. Ah, oh, fantastic. Those things are fantastic for getting biotoxin. We'll definitely have to tame some. I know, I know. We've just got... Oh, there's a 132. I know we got the basil for that. Where's our bird? Where's our bird? Junior! Where are you going? Are you on autopilot? That is our bird, isn't it? Buddy! Are you are you on like a walkabout or what? Or a swim about, whatever you want to call it? He just he just kept going. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Kind of sucks because we're out here in the middle of the ocean. Oh, dude, you got a shark on you. I got you. I got you. Okay, okay. Yep, this is a very bad situation. Didn't think about that through. Yep, didn't think it through. Oh, I did not think it through. <gasps> what do you mean? Because it's underwater. Shouldn't matter. Oh, dude. Okay, yep. Hmm. Look, I don't know what you were thinking. But it's fine. It's fine. We got you. It's fine. Let's get our Parasaur, head back to base. It has turned into a very, very rainy day before something bad happens. All right. Almost back to base. We do got our Parasaur, tamed up without any problems. And then we've got our two sets of Dillos, which, I mean, it works out, man. It works out. Let's get up here. Like I said, all I have to make is four of these slope glass pieces. And then I think we'll be good for our building parts. We'll check out and see if we can do that second layer in there with the crop plots if we can. Great. If not, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, with 300%, that should be fairly well with what we already have, you know? Put you back over here where you go. Tell you what, let's, let's change something. This bugs me. Let's pick up you. Put you right here. There we go. One of each, man. One of each. That's been bugging me <laughs> ever since we got the Pella. It looks good with the two pterodons up there, but we got that extra bird, so it kind of kind of looks weird, you know? All right, let's go ahead, eat a little bit of that, a little bit of food. Let's throw our stuff back into here. We need to unload our ammo. I wish I could fix the holes in the roof, so some places it won't rain, and some places it will. Like, see, like, we're, we're dry here. I'm not sure where it's messed up here. One day I'll fix it, one day. So, let's set our dillos out. Just back you up. Put you over here on this section. A little bit of fresh air, man. A little bit of fresh air. Right by the window, you can look out, see the Brontos, the Acros, all that good stuff. And then we need to do a hitching post. And we'll just set it right here in the corner. There we go. We will throw you there. And then you. Oh, need to move you over. Actually, we need to do male, female, male, female, I think. Oh, I don't want that admin. I hate that admin mode. I wish you could disable it. I think you can in the I and I file. Because I always accidentally hit it, and it's not something I want to have active, really. It's going to be a pain. I'll get these guys sorted out. Well, not you. Get these guys sorted out a little bit straighter on there here soon. I mean, that's fine. It's not too bad. They're almost all the same colors, too. Only the Dillos. That's kind of neat. The males and the females are all <laughs> fairly well the same color patterns. So, wait. Oh, they got a turret mode, too? Interesting. Like I said, I never tamed any of these. I want that one. All right, cool. That'll start getting us some eggs ready for our basic kibble, and then we'll probably make some up if we can. Throw it into the feed trough. We don't have the berries out now, but they will be out later for the event and stuff. What are these? Oh, that's for the... We'll leave them in here. 
Oh yeah, something else to test out too that somebody brought up is the nanny. Let's try something real quick. You know, I've been talking about wanting to store this as much as we can, so that's like 13 days in there. And apparently the nanny works as a refrigerator as well, which I didn't know. I mean, you get a good long spoil time on there. So that's a very long time compared to a refrigerator, right? And she has a ton of slots, man. Oh, it's the exact same as a refrigerator. I did not know she works as a refrigerator. I mean, it's 100 slots, but I can put all my honey in here and have her hold on to it whenever I'm trying to get them the bees to produce a lot. So go ahead and just empty that into her. Let her be our honey storage, and then that'll be good for whenever we go to make mass kibble and stuff. Interesting. Man, I tell you what. Learned so much stuff in the comments. All right, so first things first. I need to get my hot bar sorted out. So we will pick up these. So the only problem is, it's going to be kind of weird where this will clip in. It's going to be a little bit off, right? So the thatch will be sticking over just a little bit into the glass. Let's make up four of those. But I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Just a visual thing, right? We will need you and you and you and all of you. And then we're probably going to need some more of the triangle pieces for sure. The walls, we will paint it as well. And then we need the glass slope ceiling. So four of these. And that should get that sorted out. And then we'll do a count on these. I don't want to make too many. Uh, we have a good bit of crystal. I think we have, what, five or six hundred left over after we're done, right? One, two, three, four, five. And then that'll be all for building today. We shouldn't need all of it, but I don't want to have to make a lot of stuff and then have to grind it, because you do lose quite a bit in the grinding process, right? And these guys we're going to put into here before I forget. Cool colors on that, though. I like it. And then let's save this for color breeding. Colors. All right. A little bit of construction. It's kind of nice having that open, too. So having a glass up here will at least give us a little bit of sunlight coming in. It's going to be weird with that gap, but what I plan on doing is... Well, I'll show you. I'll show you here in a minute. Let me get this sorted out. We might already have some made up. We don't. I want to make some of the... Well, we do. Some of the stone railings. So we'll see if we can put those on there and have that kind of... Kind of fix that a little bit. Make it look a little bit better. Only thing is, I'm going to have to do that all the way around the whole thing, probably. No, we don't. We can just do it right here. See how it fills in that gap nicely? That'll be fine. That'll be fine. We'll do it just for the window here. Let's make one more of the railings. And put you... There. It wouldn't be bad having glass on like every other one. Right? So we could do like glass there. So that's on the ones with the wood slats. And then will that come out evenly over here? So that'll be thatch. Then we have glass. Thatch. And that one will be glass too. Oh, it would! Four, eight. So if we do 12 more. That'll kind of cover that. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll get these crafted while we're doing other stuff. Twelve more view. And we'll change those out. We'll have to make some of the railings too. But oh, dude, that'll be nice to have glass every so often. We will paint it, right? So it'll be the same as that down there. So, we're going to have to move our water tank. I think it's going to be kind of in the way. Not a big deal. I don't like where this is. So what we might end up doing is... Just do it. Let's stop talking about what we might do. We're going to pick up you. And let's build a starter block. So the starter block's going. Let's take all of this stuff. I don't think we have any polymer in here, do we? We don't. So all of this... 
You can go into there. We'll pick you up. Pick you up. Let's build. Actually, I don't want to build. We should have some. Put you right here. We can move this door right here. Then we have our cooking stuff all together. Not just taking out the bag, are you? You're not. Fantastic. And then right here. Will this clip in? Oh, it will. Actually, that'll go right by there. I mean, that's dangerously close. The water supply, but it'll keep the water warm, right? Heats the water up. Nothing's gonna freeze. It'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll leave that there, and then we'll go ahead and put the grinder just right here for right now. And I guess we won't need that starter block. So there we go, we got our little cooking area, everything fits on here, and it's almost the exact same, right, with how much is left on the edges. I wonder if this will look weird or not. Put those on the end so it just looks like it's kind of sectioned off. Yeah, there we go, I like that, I like it. I mean, it kind of sticks out a little bit far that way. That kind of bugs me. It'd be nice if it was more centered, but that's something I'll have to pick up and do probably off camera. I need to shift everything down just a little bit so it's in line with the pillars. I I'm not doing all that right now. That's a lot to get the the water lines done. Uh, so that's fine for now. I like that. It's good. And then this is kind of sectioned off, and this will give us room for here. So, as for this, let's start with doing it this way. And we need a clip. Where do we need a clip? To the top of there? Yeah, because we need it to be the same distance. If we did it there, it's going to be off. So let's do here. And these are just here for the moment. And then let's go ahead and drop some walls. So that'll be good there. And I think what I might do... Let's put the door right here. This is the main way that I come from whenever I try to get into here. Let's turn you on auto, or turn auto off. You know what? I might put a door on both sides. Seems how we got them. Pick up a few of these. And I want to leave that one. We'll leave that one for staging. This is going to be solid glass. Would you, would you cooperate, cooperate? Clip to, clip to the other one, man. Clip to the other one. It's clipping to the top. I wanted to clip to the bottom. There we go. Why are you being weird? Don't be, don't be super sketchy, man. I wanted to clip to the top of this one. Maybe it's because of this being here. Yep, there we go. Almost, almost. Super weird, man. Super glitchy. All right, let's uh, leave that there. Let's go ahead and start building back this way. And I do want it to go from the ground all the way up just because... I don't know, I think it looks better, right? It's a greenhouse, so it should be sectioned off. So we're going to need one, two, three, four more of the walls. Alright, so four of you. And that should be good on that part. And I think we're kind of done building glass. Oh, we need to do another doorway. So we only need... Ah, we only need one more. Let's do one of you, and then one of you. Again, I know we don't need the double doors, I mean the, the two sets of double doors, but it's kind of nice to have different ways to get in. Alright, so there's that. And then we'll put you right here. We all need to calm down over there. Holy crap, that was loud. It scared me. Let's turn this off of auto. Why 
I not have? Did I not grab them? I didn't. What are you? What? You taking those? Might as well take those as well. A little bit of food, a little bit of water, good to go. And might as well go ahead and put this up in here now. It's going to be kind of weird, I bet, clipping in, isn't it? Nope, it works. It works. Nice, man. Nice. I thought it was going to be really difficult to get it to clip in right. Just, just one more, man. Just one more. Be like the rest and go where you're supposed to. Oh, it was there. And then it wasn't. <laughs> Tell you what. You know where I'm trying to put you? All right, let's just... We'll do that. That's done there. We can pick these up. And then... Get rid of that one, too. All right, I don't want to talk about the 30 years it took me to get that one piece in. But, this should be in it is 300%. So, here's what I want to try. We've got... A little bit more room. I think we'll pick this one up. I know it's hard to see because they're all clear. I will tint them and paint them in a minute and it'll make it a little bit easier to see. I want to put these up here. Now we should be able to put three more up there and that'll give us a couple more slots for vegetables. Maybe we can do them in the corner too, right? We'll do it like that and I'm hoping... I know that's glass right now, but that should still allow us with that being... Covered on that part, it should still be considered light coming in, right? I think. I think I can only hold enough for one of these at a time. It kind of sucks. They are super expensive and super heavy. So we're only going to test two. Just in case they don't work out. Like I said, they are super expensive. Mainly on the stone. Dude, it's a lot of stone for those things. Worth it! But holy crap, is it a lot. Yep. Oh, easy. Yep, we're falling. We're falling! <laughs> That's the only thing about having the railings on a slope. Alright, let's pick you up for easy access. We'll drop one in there. And one there. So we'll give this a second and see if we're going to get the greenhouse effect. And what I'm thinking is maybe even if I don't get the greenhouse effect, I might still leave these up here just because it's still going to be some extra siege, right? Oh, they're irrigated. Oh, the bees. Okay, that's right, the bees. But it'll, uh... It'll still be some extra crop plots, right? That's five more. That's like double what we have down here. And it's not getting any of the greenhouse effect. Ah, that sucks. I, I'm not changing this. I do not want to change the floor here, because that's going to change the whole way the base looks. Again, we got the 300 down there. That'll be fine. Put this back for the moment. I kind of like how that looks, though. It's kind of neat, man. Kind of neat. And you guys, I want to make sure, are still... It is. They still got a 300. So that's all that matters, man. That will definitely work out. Cool! So let's get a little bit of paint. I need to see if I have enough black. We'll have to paint all these black. I'll have to tint all the windows. Let's see where we're at in life. Yeah, we got enough paint for sure. Alright, let me paint these, and then we'll tin them. And then this part should be good. I do want to put... A couple more crop plots. I need three more of them to get made. Put them up there, and then I'll have to get some more seeds. And for, I got plenty of fertilizer. I just need to get seeds and put up there. We should be good. So, let me get this done real quick. Alright, so for the most part, this is done. It's all painted. Looks fantastic. I do like it. And then we can get in and out without any problems. The only issue I really have is I got to remove one of those tiles up there to be able to put fertilizer in and stuff like that. I only need to put fertilizer in. I'll be able to pull the crop plots, or the not the plots, but the crops from down there. And I just got to repaint that and tin it every time I do it. So I got three sets of fertilizer in each one, so that should be fine. But like I said, it is super easy to get in and out. And let's double check and see what I want to put in there. So... The main thing I want to do is the stuff we'll be using for kibble. So it's going to be the roots and the long grass, and that should be fine. I guess we'll just do that. We'll probably do one of each flavor and then one extra of one of the vegetables. So I'll have to go out and grab some of those, but other than that, that is good. 
All I gotta do now is remove some of these. And we'll replace those. Fantastic time to take the roof off whenever it's raining. We'll replace these with the glass ones, and that'll take care of that as well. I kind of like how it's you know, the same amount all the way around, you know, kind of matches up. And then I was really thinking about doing the glass right here, but I think just having the whole wood front kind of looks better than having some glass. I don't want to have too much glass. And I'm kind of wondering how this is going to work out here. So we'll have to do the same thing. We'll have to put these stone railings on top of those. Hopefully it's not going to look too weird. Oh, uh, dude, I didn't think about that. It should be fine, though. It should be fine. Like I said, it'll change it up. I mean, we got the stone railings. Holy crap, we are flying in a lightning storm. It's never a good thing. But we got the stone railings up top here, so it kind of matches a little bit, right? Kind of keeps it the same theme. I know, don't holler at me, man. It's raining. I get it. I'm trying to get the roof reinstalled. Bad timing. My bad. It happens. All right, I think we're done. I went ahead and moved this over just so you can see how it looks whenever it's done. All that I had to do was there is a centerpiece right here with the railings. So whenever I set my starter block down, it's a little bit off still, but it's fine. It's kind of lining it up with that. And then went ahead and put this on this side. Put the grill over on that side, and it is even now. <laughs> that way it doesn't bug me. And then decided to go ahead and put down a cross piece right here. As you can see, it's not connected to anything, but I will hide it. And that way I can set that down without having to have one of those foundations. It looks a little bit better with that on the ground. And then it's by the greenhouse, right? So it kind of kind of looks like it should be there. And then I got these installed. So we're good here. It looks fine. It's not bad. I'll show you from the outside real quick. You guys enjoying the sunrise? Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Boy, I tell you what. So nice, man. Nice sky. But yeah, as you can see, it kind of clips right down onto the other ones. It solves that whole issue with the gap being there. And then having these every so often, it kind of, it looks good, right? Looks like it should be there. We could do the railings along the whole thing, right? With the thatch. I don't know. I think that might be too much, seeing how we got it up there. But if we did do it down here, it would match the rest of the building. I don't know. That's something I'll decide on later. Super simple to do. I just got to make up, I think, like 12, 12 or 16 more of those and then fill it in. Might do that. We'll have to see. But anyways, so we got this area done. We've got our grinder, our beehive, and then our water tank. I did have to move that over. Probably should have centered that and then centered this over. Might end up doing that too. We got our greenhouse. I've not put any seeds up there. I have to farm some later. It's it's not safe over here, man. There's a lot of the acros down there. There's the trudons because it's nighttime. There's some pegos that have spawned into. I'll I'll get some some seeds later on. We're not hurting for them. And I actually we got some here. I'll use these and I'll have to plant them. I don't want to remove that. And then have to put it back, but I'll do that later. So we got that. We've got our inn. We've got another way to get out over here. Looks nice. All kind of closed up together. We've got more of our windows. Gonna add some light in. I do like having it a little bit more open. And then we've got our stuff set up for our kibble, which... Let's grab a couple before we go. Oh my gosh, we got a ton of these eggs. Let's just make... One, two, three, four. Let's make five. Just to make sure we got everything. We should... And then basic. I have never made basic. I don't think. And there we go. Five of them crafting. So that will put out for, like I said, the berries. We'll put it into the feed trough. And then with all the other foods, they should only eat that. And I won't have to worry about putting fish meat in to keep it separate from the rafters and everything else. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. Got quite a bit done today, man. So we went out. We've got a couple pairs of dillos. I only wanted one, but I mean, it just kind of worked out. Sometimes it works out where you get extras. Might as well go ahead and just take them anyways. And it kind of works out because it was a high-level pair that we got. Even though they have the worst colors, we still got them. We got that extra Parasaur. Got him saved up. We'll take him back to Fjordor next time we go. Get him kind of changed in with some breeding to try to get the colors mixed over. And then we got a greenhouse set up. Plus, we got a little bit of extra renovating done in the base. So overall, man, not too bad of a day. I really like the way that our treehouse belt has come along. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.